Good evening. Good evening, William. Okay. Hello, one more time. How are you tonight? Are you ready for the storm? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. How are you? Uh, very good, very good. Here waiting the storm waiting for the storm and you here cool it's cool yeah okay mm. Well, let's see what happened. Where is everyone? Oh, no. ¿Dónde están todos que se hicieron? 
Okay, there's one more coming. He's recording. Okay, let's get it started then. I'm gonna share the screen. We finish this exercise, right? On Thursday. Right. Okay, so. Let me see if this works better here. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. So, how was your weekend? Hi. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, good. Okay, tonight we are going to start with this activity. It is a reading activity. This is an article called What? What's in a name? What's in a name? Hmm. Do you like your name? Yes. Huh? Yes? Of course. Yes. Ah, okay. Because some people don't like their names. Huh? For example, uh, let's see. William Roberto. Do you prefer William or Roberto? I prefer William. William. Ah, okay. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Roberto, I don't like it. You don't like Roberto. Ah, <laughs> see? No, I don't like <laughs> Ah, okay. Now, uh... Sergio Eduardo, do you like your both names, your two names? Uh, can you repeat, please? Do you like your two names, Sergio and Eduardo? Uh, no, I don't like Eduardo. You don't like Eduardo? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Why? <laughs> Rafael, what is your, your middle name, Rafael? Uh, second second name. Uh -huh. uh, Alejandro. Alejandro. Yes. Uh, don't you like Alejandro? Yes. I you like, like it. You like Alejandro? Yes, yes I like it. Ah. And Rafael? <laughs> uh, the same. The same. The same. You don't have problems. No, no. Uh, no. Yes. Ah. I don't problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Well, this article is about that. What is in a name? Let's read this. And then we'll, we ha we'll have to respond some questions. It says, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Hmm. Well. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, 
the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Hmm. What are some popular names here in El Salvador now? Can you tell me? What names are popular in El Salvador? Jose, Jorge. Jose and Jorge, now, these days? These yes. days? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Maria. Maria. Oh. Anna. Anna are popular Anna. right now? I don't think so. I don't think people like want to to call their children Maria now. People look for more <laughs> fancy names. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's popular huh? right now. It's um Steven. Uh, Steven. Brian. Brian. Brian, <laughs> Brian Steven. <laughs> Brian, Steven. Steven, Brian. Uh -huh. Okay. Santi, I have Santi. And what about what about girls? What names are popular for girls? Valeria. Valeria. Carla. Carla. Uh -huh. Joanna. Joanna. Uh -huh. Joanna. Ah, okay, yes, okay. Now, names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. For boys, George. People think that George is average and boring. Jacob. In this survey, people think that Jacob is creative and friendly. Michael, they say Michael is good looking and athletic. Stanley is nerdy and serious. Talking about girls, Betty is old fashioned and average. Emily sounds independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Ah. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. Huh. What do you think about your name? Is your name popular or unpopular right now? Huh? Is your name popular or unpopular? Let me ask to Alejandra. What do you think about your name, Alejandra? Is popular or unpopular right now? I think it is unpopular unpopular ah. i think i think oh, i don't do you, know <laughs> do you like your name alejandra 
Yes, I like my name. You like it? And Gabriela, do you like it too? Yeah, both of them. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. And what about Elwin? Is your name popular or unpopular? I, I think uh, my name is unpopular. Ah, okay. The, these days, maybe. Uh -huh. And do you like it? Yes. I, ah. I like my name. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Let me ask someone else. Uh, what about Osvaldo? What do you What do you think about your name, Osvaldo? How, how do you How do you pronounce your name, Osvaldo or Oswaldo? It's pronounced with W W P U. Osvaldo. Uh -huh. Ah, you say Oswaldo. Ah, okay. Yes. Because other people say Osvaldo. Yes. Okay. Do you like your name? Yes. I like it. Ah, okay. It is, is it popular or unpopular? What do you think right now? I think unpopular. Unpopular. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Not many people is calling their kids Oswaldo. Oswaldo. Okay. Good. Yeah. My name also. I don't think my name is popular. My name is not popular. Uh, I don't see a lot of Saul out there. Yeah, but okay, it's our name. <laughs> we have to live with it forever. Okay, good. I think you already did the, you already answered the, the exercise, yes? And the platform about, about names. Yeah. Any question with the reading? No? No. no. Okay, no. very good. Did you complete the exercise in the platform? Yes. About the reading? N yes? Yes. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah. Let's continue then with the next section, section two. In this section, we have um, um, let me see. we have this conversation. Okay, the title of this conversation is "Where do you work?" Let me play this video. I'm gonna mute your microphones for a moment in order to listen to the video without any interference, okay? Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hi everyone, welcome to section Okay, two. one more time, listen to the pronunciation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Let me go. Erica, like... 
Okay, let's practice the conversation, please. Repeat after me. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I, I work, work at Thomas, work Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? What, what do, do you, you do, do there? there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? Yes, 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 it's great a great job. job. I love it. I love it. I love it. What, do what do you do? do, you do? I'm a student and I have a part time job too. I am a student and I have a part time, part -time job, job, too. Too. job too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, where do you, do? Oh, where where do you, you work? work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast food restaurant. Fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, if you see in this um, conversation, there are some questions that I want to highlight. This. Where do you work, Andrea? This one too. What do you do there? What do you do there? And What's this you? one. What do you do? What do you do? Here again. Where, Where do you work? Where do you work? Which restaurant? And which restaurant? Which restaurant? So these are uh, questions, different kind of questions that we are going to study in this section, okay? Questions, these are called information questions uh, with uh, in, in simple present. We are using different verbs. Because we studied before questions with verb B, only verb B. But now we have different verbs like work, do. Mm -hmm. what so do what do you do is, is the verb, the principal verb, the main verb is do. Okay. So we're going to study this tonight. Any question with the conversation? No? No. Okay, good. Let's take a look then, then to another video related to the grammar topic. Watch this. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH questions and state. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies. Teaches, does, goes, 
has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Watch the video. I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person. Okay, um, let's practice this uh, statement, these questions and statements, okay? Repeat after me, please. So these are simple present WH questions and statements, okay? Repeat, what do you do? What do you do? What do, you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. I am a student and I have a part-time part -time job. job. Where do you work? Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. I work at a restaurant. Or I work in a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. So if you see, these are questions with you. So the auxiliary is do. Okay, but now these are with he, she, okay, basically she, Andrea, mm -hmm. she, she. Mm -hmm. So the auxiliary is does. Repeat please, where does Andrea work? Where does, where Andrea, does Andrea work? work? work. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She, she works, works at, at Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. What does she do? What, what does, does she, she do? do? She's a guide. She takes She's people a... on tours. She's a guide. She's a guide. She, takes she takes people, people on, on tours. tours. How does she like it? How, How does, does, she, does, like does she like it? it? She loves it. She loves Okay, so if you observe, when we use I or you, the verb does not change. I work, you work, I take, you take. But when we use he or she, Mm -hmm. There is a change in the verb. Okay. He works. She works. He takes. She takes. He studies. She studies. He teaches. She teaches. He does, she does. He goes, she goes. He has, she has. Any question here?
Okay, let's move on a little bit here. In singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of... So, when we use I, you, we, they, the auxiliary is do. When we use he, she, or it, the auxiliary is does. And this is the structure for the question. First, WH word. This could be what, where, when, how. Okay. Second, the auxiliary do or does. Third, the subject. Fourth, the verb in base form. And finally, any complement. For example, let me write a question. Mm. Donde vives, por ejemplo? Donde vives, sería. Where, WH word, where. Where. Do. The auxiliary, do. do. The subject, you. Do. And the verb, live. 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 Yeah. Live. No tiene complemento. No complement. Y o podríamos agregarle, where do you live now? Mm, wow. Now. ¿Dónde vives ahora? Where do you live now? ¿Sí? Where do you, you live? Live now. Now. It's the complement. Complement. Now, sería aquí, the complement. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is, en este caso, yes. ¿verdad? Si, teacher, eh, mm -hmm. si sería en tercera persona, se cambia en das. Exacto. Por y ejemplo, el verbo no cambia. El verbo no cambia. El verbo mm -hmm. en la pregunta siempre va. En su base forma. Su, ah, exacto. Por ejemplo, si digo, where does she, she live? Ajá. Uh -huh. Where does she live now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bien. Yes. Now, let me show you something. Okay, this. I have the same thing here. Yeah. Mm. The, the, uh, st the structure again for questions, okay? The WH word, the auxiliary, which is do or does, the subject, the verb, and complement. And I have some examples. What? What do you do at work? I make reports. What does he or she do? She is a nurse, or he is a nurse. Where? Where do you work? I work in a school. Where does she work? She works in a hotel. When do you have vacation? I have vacation in July. Who works in that office? The accountant works in that office. So observe questions with who are different. Okay? We don't use do or does. No. Mean no está aquí. And miren el verbo. 
¿verdad? Está en third person singular. Es como que si fuera he o she. Ok. En questions with who. Who works in that office? The accountant works in that office. O sea, no decimos who do work? No. O who does work? No. Preguntas con who son diferentes. Ok. Then why? Aquí volvemos y es la misma estructura. Why do you work on Sundays? Because I need the money. What time does he come home? He comes home around 5.30 p.m. How do you get to work? I get to work by bus. How often do they check the reports? They check the reports twice a day. And remember, we are going to use do with I, you, we, they. And thus with he, she, it. Okay, any question? No. No. Very good. No. And how, eh, tampoco se utiliza do, dos. Como no, aquí está. How often? How often do? Porque la, la hora de pregunta es how often. How often Solo en do? Who entonces? Exacto. Ok. Ok. Regresamos, solo vimos. Ok. So, I want you to write some uh, questions with this. Some questions like this, okay? Oh, por ejemplo, déjame ver. Vamos a irnos acá. Let me... I'm insert this just to practice okay some questions no Give me a second here. Okay, for for example, um, oh, the pequeña. I live in in Lourdes. I want you to write a question here, okay? For example, where? You have to complete the question. My brother works On weekends. Mm, 
Okay. And here, I want you to write questions. Starting with no. who. Um, how often? What? Okay, how often? Uh, what? Okay, what? And Ooh. when? Okay. So, let me Okay, I'm going to share this And WhatsApp, let me send this to WhatsApp. Give me a second here. Okay, I'm gonna send that picture to WhatsApp and I want you to write questions, okay? I don't know if you already copy the questions, but. Anyways, I'm going to send the picture to WhatsApp. Okay, the picture, the, the exercise is in WhatsApp already. Okay. I will give you like five minutes to work on that.
Finish teacher. Sorry, I live in Lourdes. What is the question? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Okay, good. My brother works on weekends. What is the question? Who works on weekends? Who works on weekends? On the weekend? Who works on weekends? Okay, good. They play video games all day. What is the question? How often do you play video games? Excellent. Very good. Next, we love pizza for lunch. What is the what question? Do you, what do you eat for lunch? Yes. Ah, okay. And she cleans the office in the morning. What is the question? When does, when does she clean the office? Clean the office. When does she? She. When does she clean the office? When okay. Does she, does she? Any question with this? No. Okay. Good. Now I want you to write. Two questions, or three, three questions better, that you want to ask your classmates. Three questions that you want to ask your classmates. Okay? Okay. I'll give you two minutes, and then we are going to work in groups. Two minutes to write the questions, please. Okay, I hope you have your questions now. I'm going to create small groups and please interact, have a short conversation using those questions, okay? 
using those questions. Ahí se turnan y se van haciendo preguntas. Ok. Join your sessions, please. Last name. My, my last name is. Uh, Looks nice. Garzón. Garzón. Ah, apellido, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yes. My last name is Garzón. How do you spell? Mauricio. What do you eat for lunch? Today, uh, what you do often in the class? Uh, could you repeat, please? Where, where do you, where do go offer, offer in the class? Uh, quise poner uh, qué hará después de clase? O dónde, dónde irá después de clase? Ah, okay. Uh, where where do you where do go often in the class? No sé si está bien estructurado que me me confunda ahí con con el el do do o das. Mm. Eh. La pregunta es a dónde iremos después de clases, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Nosotros. Uh -huh. O uh -huh. en este caso, si se le está diciendo a alguien directo, sería tú. Uh -huh. eh, sería, yeah. where, where do you go? Do you, do you go after in the class? After class. After class. After class. Where do you go after class? I, well, <laughs> I'm already in my in my bedroom <laughs> but i'm i'm gonna go to sleep <laughs>
Toro. And what do what do you do tonight? Edwin. Creo que tiene atrasado un poco la señal. Sí. Sorry, lo siento. Sí. Se me corta debería, la señal. Debería de quitar el, la cámara de video para que le mejore la, este, el, el internet. El audio, sí. La velocidad. Yes, ah. I work this weekend. ¿En qué trabaja? I work eh, eh, sales de cocktails and ceviche. Ah, ok. And the, um, ¿Cómo se dice chef? Chef. Mm -hmm. The chef, restaurant. Chef. I, I, I am not chef. No chef. Okay, people, we have to stop now. It is time. We will continue tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Just remember to work in the platform. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good